homosexual behavior turns up constantly in nature, in over 1,500 species ranging from fruit flies to primates, which has led researchers to conclude that any genetic component contributing to it must be relatively stable, which is surprising for a trait that would seem to make you drop out of the evolutionary race. How could a homosexual giraffe, for example, naturally pass on his genetic material to offspring he doesn't have? Any gene predisposing someone to not have children would usually be expected to slowly weed itself out of a population. But research has shown that while homosexual males do not reproduce, females in the same family, who have some of the same genetic makeup, are more fertile than average, and in fact produce enough offspring to make up for the decreased fecundity of their childless brothers. This would allow the genes for homosexuality to stick around at a stable and low frequency through the maternal line for male homosexuality, and presumably through the paternal line for female homosexuality, though this line of research is noticeably absent. Related to this hypothesis is the gay uncle theory, a form of kin selection where the gay uncle, while childless, would assist in providing resources to the offspring of their close relatives, thereby helping protect their genes, or at the very least, buying them some fabulous shoes. In any case, homosexual animals are here to stay, which is bad news for people who like to pretend they don't exist, but good news for anyone who finds pictures of them just plain funny.